Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a video I have never done on the channel. Um, you guys know as much as me that I kind of like just making videos that I've not done before. Um, generally because I want to create this reselling channel that's got an A to Z of every reselling video on there. Um, I don't know why, it's just some sort of um, weird idea I have. Like I want, I want someone to come to my channel and I want them to type in that search bar whatever they want on reselling and it come up, you know, on my channel kind of thing. Um, because I just, I just want to build that kind of um, level of helpfulness on the channel in one respect. Just being able to, you know, if you need help with this or you need help with that. Or you maybe just want some entertainment in this area or that area of reselling. Um, then you can find that on the channel. So, I couldn't help but do this video. Might be a little bit of a boring video or it might be very, very educational or very entertaining. I don't really know. Um, but I've never done this style of video before so I might be a little bit rusty with the whole presentation style. But this video is going to be an Amazon FBA returns video. So I've never done one before. Essentially the stuff that I have not sold on Amazon FBA that hasn't sold for me. So obviously it's got returned back for me automatically when the long term storage fees kick in or whatever. I have it set up so it like, you know, automatically returns things back to me. So I'm going to go for a handful of the items. I did get a few boxes back. I'm not going to show you like all the boxes because it would just take too long. But I'm going to show share with you like one of the boxes and we're just going to look through what didn't sold or uh, didn't sell or the rest of it. So with that being said, we'll get on with the video and we'll uh, have a look at the first item. So we can blame Nick Kills for this one. No, I'm, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Um, I did actually get this off a deal that Nick Kills was sharing, but obviously it's not his fault it didn't sell. It was a lot of it down to me, the fact that maybe I sent it in at the wrong time, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe... Uh, it, the sales rank fell off a little bit, I don't know, but it, anyway, I'm only joking about that. Don't blame, blame Nick Kills, he gets blamed for too much. Anyway, um, so this is a bangle blitz glam, uh, like sort of girls bracelet um, maker or something. Um, essentially, I bought about three or four of these, so I did actually sell some of them. Um, and I think I paid about £3 on the deal that Nick was sharing, I think it was like £3.62 or something, and it was like an Amazon Lightning deal or something like that, um, and essentially we were down from like 13 to 15 quid. it was that sort of range we were selling for, so I waited a while, um, because obviously the market was flooded and stuff, and everyone got on, on these, and essentially I sent some up, I don't know when it was, it was probably last Q4 I think now, um, and I'd say a few of them must have sold, because I've I've obviously only got this one back, and uh, yeah, essentially, it only cost me, well, it might not even cost me anything now, because obviously I've made profit on the others, so it might be free, actually, this, uh, or essentially it is working it out. So, um, yeah, essentially, I'll probably just donate this to a charity shop. You might be thinking, well, why don't you sell it on eBay? I will sell it on eBay, but only if it's over a tenner plus postage, and I don't know whether it will be. Um, obviously, I'll have to describe it, I think, as like new, well, maybe not. Maybe I could sell it as new, actually. I was just thinking maybe the box is a little bit bashed up, but it's not too bad. But yeah, if it's over a tenner plus post, I'll, I'll put it on eBay. But if not, I'll just donate it to, to a charity shop. Someone, I'm sure, will have uh, some fun with this anyway from buying it from a charity shop. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's that one. So, next is something I picked up ages ago for about three quid in a charity shop. Um, brand new and sealed Glee CD board game. It must have been at the time a better sales rank. I think now, I've not double checked over the last month or so, but I did check a few months ago, like three months ago, and I remember this sitting at like 300,000 in toys and games. So, it must have had a better sales rank when I originally sent it in or something, but I don't know. Maybe I just made a bad decision in sending it in, but um, yeah, so I sent this in. And it doesn't go for very much either on Amazon. Uh, I paid three quid for it, and yeah, bit of a fail that one. Um, I, you know, I don't really want to directly say don't pick this up because I'm not double checked whether it's worth picking up, maybe for eBay or something. But I really highly doubt this is worth picking up, so maybe just avoid this one. But yeah, essentially, brand new and sealed, just one of those board games that just isn't in demand as much. Uh, I think a few years ago it would have been a lot more, you know, Glee was a lot more popular a few years ago. But yeah, that's uh, that one anyway. So next, I've got a few um, DVDs, so I'm just going to pull up the DVDs and I'll be back with you in a second. 
So, we've got some DVDs here. I'm guessing uh, the rank wasn't very good, therefore they didn't sell, or maybe I didn't reduce the prices and they didn't sell and end, end up just getting returned back for me uh, to me, but obviously we've got some DVDs here. Some will be, I've just paid a quid or so in a charity shop, 50p or a quid. Others I might have sniped off eBay, but I think pretty much all of these were charity shop except that Merlin one, I think. Don't know if that was a car boot or a, or a snipe purchase, but it was one of the two. Anyway, uh, this is a free classic musicals box set, South Pacific, King and I, and Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, obviously, maybe Wank wasn't very good, didn't sell. So what I'll do with these is, I'll, uh, a Michael Jackson moonwalker there, um, again, brand new and sealed. What I might do with these is, if I've got a large collection of DVDs, I have got some DVDs in the other room, I might just do a, an au like a, an auction on eBay and bundle them all up and, and ship them all off as one go. We've got Jim Carrey, A Christmas Carol. If I can find a couple of, uh, or a few children's DVDs, you know, children's Christmas DVDs, I'll bundle them up, because obviously it's getting to that time, so that, that'll uh, go well in a little children's DVD bundle. But if I can't find that, then I'll probably end up donating it to a charity because I can't see that being worth more than a tenner and I don't want to really list anything below a tenner. So, yeah, that's that one. We've got Merlin. This might be worth my time to just list individually, but as you can see, it's got a whip to the seal there. And that is something I want to touch on in a minute about Amazon. Uh, like new items, I will touch on that in a minute. So, yeah, complete second series of Merlin. So, yeah, anyway, either charity or might go on if it's worth it. And then we've got a Family Guy Series 5 there, again, new and sealed, didn't sell. Uh, it's a good video to make this because it just shows, like, you know, not everything sells. Like, not everything, you know, a lot of the stuff you pick up, yes, it will sell. It might take, you know, two weeks, or it might take a day, or it might take two years, or it might take, I don't know, 12 months or something, but it will sell. But then there's also a percentage, I don't know the percentage, I've not worked out the percentage, but there is also a percentage of your inventory, of your pickups, that just will not sell. So it's actually quite a good video to make, you know, to kind of ground people who uh, maybe think that everything I pick up sells, or maybe think maybe they're not doing reselling yet, and they, you know, you just look watching videos and seeing how much money everyone's making, and it's not always the case in terms of, you know, everything's going to sell and everything's going to make you a load of money. It's just not that way. Uh, there's a lot more of a kind of, I wouldn't say a harsh reality, but there's a lot more of a grounded reality than that in, in the sense that not everything actually sells. Anyway, so we'll get on and we'll do a few more items. Ah, this is interesting. I sent this in as brand new. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just there, new. Um, and as you can see, it's not new. It's come out of its uh, bag. It's, it looks like it's been cut, to be honest. Um, but essentially, this must have been like warehouse damage or something. But I... I can't really see how it's been damaged at the warehouse, because it just looks like someone's cut it open. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a return, and someone cut it open, and then sent it back in. I don't know. M yeah, it must have been that, I think. But Anyway, I'm not sure, but it was either in the, uh, warehouse damage or a return or something like that. Um, but yeah, so... Essentially, I'll probably just end up donating that. It's not worth my time to deal with unless I've got a larger lot of Lego it can go in. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, that one anyway. Quite interesting, but you know, wasn't just a standard return there. Um, so next we've got oh we've got one of these poly bags. I was selling these actually quite consistently, but obviously this one just got sent sent back to me because obviously it was hitting long term storage. Um, so yeah. These were actually okay. I think I was sniping these off eBay. I think I got a bundle of like 15 or 20 of them, maybe about one pound, of, uh, uh, you know, one pound a pack. Um, so yeah, that one was okay. I'll probably end up, uh, I don't know, if I, can, if I can get a bundle of poly bags together, I'll, I'll do it on eBay, if not charity it. So yeah, that's that one. Um, next, something that's like new, and again, I'm going to explain what I mean by this whole like new thing that I was talking about. So... On Amazon, um, what I've found over the last few months, maybe the last year or so, is when I'm sending things up that are like new, they don't seem to shift that well. And here's my kind of theory. People on Amazon, they like to buy new, right? They like to buy new. When they're on there, they like to buy brand new. They like to buy, uh, you know, something that maybe they're buying it as a gift or whatever. They like to buy brand new. And then let's say they're going on there and maybe they are in the frame of mind that they're going to buy something as used. If they're in the frame of mind that they're going to buy something as used, then they're probably not going to buy something used like new. They're probably going to buy 
used very good or something like that. I always feel like used like new is completely in a void between new and, and used and I don't think people pick up on it as much as either just saying right I'm going to buy completely used or completely new. So I think that some of the reasons why some of my like new items, you know, things that maybe have a little bit of a dent or a little bit of a tiny whip to the seal or whatever, and I don't necessarily want to sell them used very good, and I don't want to necessarily sell them uh, new at all, um, I think that that might be why that some of them aren't selling. So in future, what I'm going to definitely do is just focus on brand new stuff. Now, sometimes what will happen is if you're sniping on eBay, you're sniping board games or Lego or whatever, you won't pick up on something on the photos, you'll end up getting it, and then obviously you see that, you know, it was completely show, shown on the photos, but you didn't quite catch it, and there's something that obviously means you now have to sell that item as used like new. So essentially, um, I'm going to be very, very careful in future of just sending new stuff up, or if I am sending used stuff up, uh, you know, it's going to be things like maybe books or, um, you know, something that is going to be used like a video game console or something and someone is still going to buy that used. Um, but yeah, I think these like doing board games that are like new, you know, and stuff like that, it, there's not much of a market for it. I, I can't see a much of a market for it in the experience uh, I've been having with certain items that are used like new, not selling. So I'd be very careful about sending things like that up, used like new. Um, I think this has been bashed up a little bit more than when I actually sent it in. There was a slight crease down here, but it wasn't anywhere near that, that that's there now. So obviously that might have got damaged slightly in storage there. Um, but you can see there I have put used like new on that. Um, and yeah, that's just not sold for whatever reason. I may have sniped it or I may have got it last year. Uh, I don't know. I think we were doing them last year in the, uh, you know, if you spend over like, 50 quid or over 75 quid or something at the Lego store. Might have been last year, it might have been two years ago, I don't know, but uh, I think it was last year. So, yeah, anyway, so that's annoying, but I'll probably just sell that on eBay because I'll be able to get some money out of that this Christmas on eBay. So I'll do that with that one. And then finally, I'll quickly just go through these others because I know we're getting on time-wise, about 12 minutes now. Again, something that's used like new, you would imagine that this would sell. This kind of is what's drawing me to the theory I'm having um, because if this was brand new, this would get snapped up like really quickly. But because I've specified it as used like new, I do feel that's what's making them not sell as much or not sell as fast. Um, therefore, yeah, it's definitely something to to kind of be aware of in future. To for me personally, not necessarily for you guys, but for me personally, um, to you know send things in as just brand new and make sure that there isn't any flaws on the item itself. So. Yeah, there's that one. I'll probably just list that on eBay and get my money out of it. Um, to you know, to give you some clarity, I did pay about fifteen or twenty quid for this on eBay uh, on a snipe. Um, so obviously, I'm just looking to clear my money out of it. Essentially, I might get a little bit of profit in there, but it just shows you know that not all buys are these perfect buys, and not not all of these things make you a load of money. So yeah, that's that one. And then finally. Another one that, again, I specified as used like new uh, was this uh, Monopoly, the Here and Now Limited Edition. Um, again, something that you would imagine would sell pretty easy, um, but I do feel like specifying it as used like new has maybe put some people off. And obviously, I was charging a decent price for it. I wasn't charging a low price. Maybe what I could have done is obviously brought the price right down and then it would have sold on Amazon and then I wouldn't have needed to get it back, etc., but obviously I didn't do that because I'm not that clever and um, yeah, or, or I, I didn't even think of setting the si time aside to do that and uh, yeah, essentially it's come back to me. So I'll sell it on eBay again, I paid up for this sniping, you know, 15 and 20 quid, something like that. I can't remember the exact figure but it must have been around that and uh, yeah, probably just looking to clear my money back. But it's a good time to get money out of these things because we're coming up to Christmas, so I'll be able to get the most out of them that I can, and obviously that maybe give me a little bit of profit out of them. But even if it doesn't, even if it's just my money, a case of my money back, can we invest that into other things so it's not too bad? Um, but the, the biggest thing in this game is if you're not willing to take a risk, if you're not willing to jump in, then you're not going to make any money anyway. So it's always better to take a risk and maybe fail at that risk than not to take a risk at all. So yeah, that's that one anyway. And we'll leave it there for this video. 
very excited because I've finally done that video and I really did want to do an Amazon FBA returns video. So yeah, it's added to the roster, it's added on my channel somewhere, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and you know all the rest of it, you know, add a comment down below and stuff. I, I don't know whether I already said that. Add a comment down below if you want to comment and all, all the rest of it that I usual, usually say. All the spiel at the end. Right, anyway, I'll leave it there guys and I will see you in the next one.